So here we have the last one of the video I'm going to make for um, to to get this Kickstarter done. Um, it's a KNN classifier, a K nearest neighbor classifier. So let's go to the code now. This is the first batch of code that I've fully written by myself. I'm not a hundred percent sure whether it's fully accurate. So anyone can write in the video comments if there's something I should improve. But this is a really good example of the machine learning being quite small, but the program itself being enormous. So let's just have a look at this. Uh, KNN Basics, uh, see if it works. So what we're doing here is we're just doing um, two bits of information. Say you had a graph at 0, 0, and you went 3 across, 4 up. What would this distance from the 0, 0 to the 3 across, 4 up? Well, it's a 3, 4 triangle. It should, the answer should be 5. It calculates 5, so that's hopefully saying it's doing this part correctly. Now, the cool thing with KNN is it can use multi-dimensional stuff, so it can still find the distance between um, a 3D object or a 4 or 5D object. So let's have a look at the code. Remember, this is the only bit of machine learning here, and the code's actually not bad. fits on a page. So there's the first data. Tensor is 0, 0. Then we go 3 across, uh, 4 up. And this is just so that it can take square roots. Um, there are fancier ways of dealing with that. So here we go. We're trying to do the distance formula, which is a Pythag. So C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. So here we go. Uh, the my data and the nine unknown, we're subtracting them. We're multiplying that answer twice. Um, where that's just something that's needed for summing it. Then we're taking the square root, which is a type of power and then we're printing out the answer. Um, what do we have? This is just the fancy way of writing it. This is the long form of writing it. Um, and then it outputs the information. Probably interesting here is how it outputs. Nope, the interesting part was dealt with right there. Um, it took the MyKNN tensor, grabbed the data, which is async, waited for the data to come down from the GPU to the CPU, put it in a variable. I probably should have put the word const there and printed it out. Now let's just the exact same thing with the operations strung together. So here's the only difference is that operation is all strung together. So TensorFlow, it's doing the multiplication of the TensorFlow that's subtracting the data in the unknown. TensorFlow that's subtracting the data in the unknown that's just kind of a lame way of squaring things. Um, and then it's summing them using the axis of 1, which will reduce a 2D down to 1D. And then it's powering it using my square, square roots, which is actually powering it as a square root. Um, so there goes the easy part. Let's look at what I've done with JavaScript. Reminder, this is all JavaScript. So I'm going to ignore this, the original CSV. Well, what we should be able to do is take almost any text version that you want to do a K nearest neighbor, and it's going to separate all this information into um, headings, labels, and data. But what I've got here is I've already got much simpler two-dimensional size and weight, size and weight, just random kind of stuff, uh, and labels. So this one was labeled small. This one was labeled big. These three were labeled medium. Uh, this one was small. We, uh, the K value here is three, so we're going to print out three of the nearest neighbors. And there's our unknown, 3.5. Well, looking at this data, 3.5, it might be small. But 56 is a lot bigger than that one. A human being would have a hard time with this. So I'm going to use the thing. And we've got a group length of 8. There's our unknown. For the unknowns, 3.5 and 5.6, K nearest neighbors. There's medium, medium, medium. And it averages out this information to figure out that that unknown 
was medium compared to these labels. Okay, so that was simple 2D data. Let's grab all this iris data and separate it, all JavaScript. So we've got sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. We've got the labels and a bit of code to get these things to, to move together. So there's Setosa, there's Verisicolor, and then Virginica. Okay, so we want a K value of three, and here's our first, we've got a five, then a 3.5, then a 1.6, and a 0 0.6. What's its, all its nearest neighbor? So here we go, Setosa, Setosa, Setosa are the nearest ones to it. So the best label for this unknown is Setosa. Now what's kind of nice with this is I can crank that up to seven. We try to do odd numbers so it can, aver it can always average a nearest one. Uh, put in the same information, it finds a whole bunch of Setosas. Setosa, make sure you try it without that line there to see if it's um, been deprecated, it should work. So here we go, let's go through some of these functions. There, now this took me a fair bit of time. Uh, some tricks here, this is for separating the text box information. So remove line breaks, just a little function, little trick. Uh, a flatten or an array, cool little thing there. Um, find indices of greatest. Um, that's for finding, sorting stuff or, or finding the largest values. And that was all needed. So here's the Setosa, um, not Setosa, here's the Iris data already preloaded in because it's not that much. I think there may be 60 of these things. Um, and there's the button that separates them. So it's basically setting a bunch of uh, um, text boxes to, to be blank. That's what this is. It's two single quotes side by side. It's removing the line breaks. Um, of one of the text areas. It looks like the same text area. Uh, sorry, I've got bracketed stuff out here. Sometimes it's good to see in between stuff. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. It's grabbing it from a Mac or a Linux or a Windows machine. Uh, these are line breaks. And what do we got? We're just setting up some arrays here. Um, once again, that's setting up an array. It's splitting a subarray. So it's an array inside an array by comma, splits it up into the subarray. Um, so what's this doing? Putting labels. Oh, okay. Pop pops something out of the array, pops the last bit of information out of the array, which is going to be a label, uh, puts it in the right spot, uh, Mayan split, uh, puts the other information in its right spot. Uh, this looks like it's doing some random stuff. Uh, incoming is an incoming tensor or array. Um, then it's tidying things up, also popping stuff off, off uh, an array. Uh, it's trimming. Uh, looks like I had a for loop there, but did it a different way. Anyway, lots of JavaScript here. Uh, this is all just uh, table. Oh, this is the original table. So this is just the two direct, uh, 2D information instead of the Setosa, which is 4D and all those mediums and big and small. Um, here we go, here's our button. Uh, an async function, so that's an inline function. It's remo removing line breaks from stuff. Uh, it's splitting, it's setting up arrays. Uh, once again, setting up more arrays. It didn't use stringify, I seem to have figured it out some other way, probably just split. Um, there's using split with that, making sure you get uh, Mac or Linux or Windows text areas figured out. Okay, what's this doing? Once again, it's just grabbing an array, doing a for loop, setting up some values. Um, check k value less than amount of data. 
Oh, that was the one that I thought was set up. I'll have to double check that that's set up. Uh, just printing some information, more arrays, square root. Oh, that's interesting. It's figuring out a square root. It's filling up with the right length. You need a whole bunch of 0.5s that match the shape of your data. We have four bits of data and some labels. So that's all that thing's doing. Uh, here's some machine learning, well, TensorFlow.js, data and unknown, you're subtracting them, then you're uh, multiplying them, then you're square diffing them with the axis of one, and the powering the square root, and that. Remember, there's a, a shorter way of writing that. Uh, just a whole bunch of alerts when I was testing things. Uh, mapping functions, that's a little bit advanced. And this is the testing. Um, you want to raise sort? No, this is something else. And we're just going to quickly go through that. And that's the end. So this is just finishing things up. Uh, checking things, putting up the count, stuff like that. Anyway, hope you enjoy this.